Hello and welcome to Pops and Soul, K-pop fans' favorite hangout spot, and I'm Eddie. EXO held their first concert at the Tokyo Dome in Japan and received an explosive response. They performed for a total of 145,000 fans over the course of three days and concluded the concert with great success. It was their first time performing at the Tokyo Dome in their three and a half year career and they became the fastest male group to grace the stage at the Tokyo Dome after their debut. EXO embarked on a national tour in Japan after releasing their debut single and I hope they continue to expand their influences beyond Korea and Japan to around the world. Now, I'm going to start today's show with EXO's Call Me Baby, requested by Ivy Saro Tama from Nepal. Now, get ready for another exciting edition of Pops and Soul. Music video, start! It's time for us to check out the hottest songs of the week via K-Pop Top 10, where we keep you up to date with the latest hits in Korea. Many idol groups returned to stage recently, causing a shift on the music charts, and I'm curious as who entered the Top 10 this week. Are you curious too? Then stay tuned to check out the Top 10 albums and sales charts compiled together with Gone, the official music chart of Korea. It's now time for us to travel back in time and check out a past music chart. With me, Prince, whose irresistible charm will keep you mesmerized. And with me, Eddie, who will make your heart beat faster. It's time for K-Pop Time Machine! <laughs> yes, a major music program in Korea recently announced that it will no longer present the weekly rankings. Yeah, I can understand why. I mean, there are a lot of online music charts that people look at for daily rankings. So there's no need for music programs to present the rankings too. Mm -hmm. So instead of presenting the weekly rankings, they're planning to deliver more diverse genres of music. Mm. And I wonder what kind of impact this will have on the K-pop scene. Me too, me too. Well, I hope that K-pop lovers get to encounter a wide variety of music through this program. Anyways, let's check out how far back we we'll travel to today. Oh, so we'll be traveling back to a year ago. That's right, we'll be taking a look at the music chart from the fourth week of November in 2014. Oh wait, Eddie, do you want to bet who guesses the most songs on this chart? Uh, is it because you've been you know, losing against me so much lately? I'll get it, you know, I accept your challenge. Mm, then let's say the person who wins gets to announce the music video at the end by himself. Okay, sure, no problem. I'm gonna win for sure. So, you wanna do the charades, right? Well, let me give you the hint for the song at number 10. Mm, okay, but don't deliberately make it too hard, okay? Of course, I always play a fair and square. Mm. All right, so what's the hint? <clears throat> oh man, this is a bit easy. Meow. Meow. The goddess of luck is on my side today. That's AOA's Like a Cat. Sapun, sapun, got a cat. Yes, correct. And number 10 was Like a Cat by AOA, who transformed into Catwoman. Prince, you know, I totally gave this a one away. You have to give me an easy hint, all right? Of course, of course. This hint for the song at number 9 is... So, I guess it has something to do with clocks. Uh, let's see. Oh! The clock dance, Vix is eternity. Wrong! At number nine was Ijina's time slow down. So it's one, zero! What? You should have slowed down then. Oh, come on. How could I have given a better hint? It was perfect. Ah, uh, fine, fine. Yeah, here. The hint for the song at number eight. I am. This is too easy. <laughs> It was EXID's up and down! We are it, we, we are it. Oh, crazy. Yeah. 
You keep getting the easy ones though. Three, two, zero. I told you, Eddie. Goddess of Luck is on my side today. You're going down. Yeah, whatever. Just give me the hand for the seventh spot. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hi. You are my destiny. What? What was that? Guess. I I really don't know. What is it? At number seven was Hi Suhyun. I'm different, featuring Bobby from Icon. Then why would you go? Hi, you are my destiny. You are my destiny. Oh, you're so slow. Okay, okay. Let me explain. Which drama is my destiny from? My love from the star, of course. Yes. And who was the lead actor in that drama? Uh, Kim Suyeon. That's right. Hi, you are my destiny. <laughs> Oh, what? How can go. anyone get that high swim from that? Oh, come on. It was really original, don't you think so? Well, hurry up and give me the next hint. <laughs> fine, well, fine, fine. We'll see about this. Uh. <laughs> what? Are you trying to get revenge on me? No, no. Look. Look carefully. Uh, I'm not too sure, but. Kyuhun's at Guangwamun? Uh, no, no, no. This is what? something. How, how did you get this right? Oh! Yes, it was Kyuhun's at Guangwamun at number six. Yes. I knew it. I'm so gonna win today. Hey, you must have cheated. How could you possibly know that? that that's impossible. Well, let me tell you. Mm, I just took a wild guess and I knew that you were singing a sad ballad song. And what ballad song caused a huge sensation last November? It was Kyun's at Guangwamun, of course. So, I'm gonna lead three to zero. This is really weird. Ah, uh, stop being suspicious. Here's the hint for the song at number five. Okay, okay, let's go, let's do this. Okay. Are you erasing something? Ooh. Oh, it's Hyun and Chuyang's Erase. Oh, nice one. Yes, yes. and number five was Hyun and Chuyang. The race featuring Iron. Okay, so it's three to one. I am catching up. But not in time, mate. Oh, well, whatever. Well, here's a hint for the fourth spot. Uh, GD and Taeyang's good boy? I am a good boy. Yes, that's right. At number four, it was top in the group GD and Taeyang's good boy. Yes, I got it all right so far. I guessed the next one correctly. It's 5-5! Five, five. And no, 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 that's not going to happen. Hurry up and give me the next hint. Mmm, okay. Oh! Toys, three people! Oh, wow. Yes. Good guess, Eddie. Yes, and number three was Toys, three people, where Hong Zee Kyung's vocals touched everybody's heart. So it's a four to two. Well, I'm gonna win this regardless of what happens in the next round. Yes, I know, I know. But let's see if you get the last one right. Okay. Come on, give me the hint. Okay. Um, um, this is this one's so easy though. That was too easy. Do you mind if I guess it right? Or should I lose on purpose this one? Just to make you feel better. Okay, just stop it, just name the song. Okay, it was L-O-V-E Love! A Pink's Love! 5-2! Well. I'm gonna make it 5 3, so give me the hand for the song at number one. Ah, uh, okay, sure. I'm just gonna give this one a while. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not that happy though. Yes, it's Park Yo Shin's Happy Together, right? Oh, good job. Yes, it was Park Yo Shin's Happy Together. That topped the charts in the fourth week of November in 2014. Yes, I won! You were just lucky. You had all the easy ones. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. What, well, Eddie? I'm still in the shot, but just get out of here. Uh, fine. <laughs> Annyeong! Well, you better not jump in like last time, please. I won't, don't worry about it. Okay. Hurry up, hurry, go. Oh, this brings me great joy to announce this song. Here's Park Yo Shin's Happy Together! A song that will heal your soul and bring a smile to your face. No! Oh, wrong elevator. Oh, wrong floor, sorry. Oh, oh, 
Oh, your pen. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. service. Yes, okay. But Prince, I have to say, that choker looks great on you. Meow. Everything looks great on me. I make them look good. Remind me never to compliment you again. Well, it's now time for the legend, where we get to zoom in on top K-pop artists and groups. And today, we'll focus on a transformer group that switches between a band and a dance group. A top girl group that's captivating all the guys with their sexy and cute sides. It's AOA! Boing boing! Wow, yes, Ace of Angels, aka AOA, has captivated countless male fans. That's right, all of the eight members are gaining popularity with the masses. Eight members? Aren't there just seven of them? What? Eddie, come on, you call yourself the MC of Pops in Seoul? <sighs> Jimin, Choa, Yuna, Hejong, Mina, Seoryeon, and Chami. See, there are seven members! Hold on, there's one more, you forgot. Yu Kyung. Yu Kyung? I don't think I've heard of her. Well, that's probably because AOA has been focusing in promoting their dance music lately. But whenever they transform into a rock band, Yu Kyung joins them as a <laughs> drummer! Oh, like Moya. I love that song. Yes, that's right. AOA debuted in 2012 with Elvis, and since then they've been transformed back and forth between a band and a dance group, which had been unprecedented. Uh, they gained huge popularity as dance group. Right? That's right. Their popularity started skyrocketing with Mini Skirt, released in January 2014, and Short Hair in June later that year. Then Sapun Sapun, like a cat, released in November, became a smash hit as well. So the first song that reached number one was Mini Skirt, right? That's right. The way they pulled up the zippers of their skirts drove all the guys wow. wild. Yeah, since then, they've been dominating the K-pop scene as one of the top girl groups. Their song Heart Attack released earlier this year, so also topped the charts. A test into their growing popularity. The members of AOA have been gathering a lot of attention in different fields of the entertainment industry too, right? That's right. Their central member, Seoryeon, has been appearing in dramas, movies, and commercials. Leader Jimmy gained recognition as a rapper and did union promotions. And the main vocalist, Choa, has appeared on a lot of variety shows. Oh, I really can't wait to check out the concept of the next album. I hope you all look forward to it too. Yes, and I personally hope they return as a band. Yeah, I th that'll be a good idea. Mm -hmm. Well, let's check out a song by AOA that captivated countless male fans, shall we? Oh yes! Here is AOA's Heart Attack. I'll do it. No, I think this is it, right? No, I'll do it. <laughs> I hope you enjoy checking out the past and present music charts with us. This brings us to the end of our show for today, but we'll be back with another fun filled edition of Pops in Soul. So make sure you join us again. And of course, we want you to give us your input on which music videos you want to play on our show. That's right. So if there's a music video you want to watch on our show or a comment you'd like to make, just knock on our door by visiting the sites shown below. We can't wait to hear from you guys! And now, we'll leave you with a song from this week's K-Pop Top 10. Take good care of yourselves and stay healthy guys! Bye! Bye! -bye.